Hey everybody, Adam from Atlas Gunworks. We borrowed these uh, mags from a friend and it reminded us that, that we got to talk about a couple of things. So the old, this is the ultimate tuning trick for uh, any double stack 1911, whether it be a Staccato 2011 or the Prodigy guns uh, or R mags. It doesn't matter who made the mag. These mags, the way that they were designed was originally it was a 45 ACP mag and then um, they got retroed, and that's why you kind of have these bars down here to push the nine millimeter rounds together. So it's kind of a, a design change from 30 years ago. But the trick to these mags, it, because they're getting maximum capacity in these, is they have to be clean. So we sell a cleaning kit. Um, I think it's important to first use a brush and then use a mop. The mop's just really a car wheel mop, so you don't have to buy that from us. But the mop's not enough by itself. Uh, I'm going to clean the staccato one that has our spring. Um, these came to us because they weren't working and a friend has got, but uh, I brush both sides. If there's a ton of carbon in here, you'll have to get some chemicals involved, but that's not very often. I would clean these every time, uh, every third time they've been shot or every uh, time they hit the ground, if the ground's not like a nice grassy surface or cement or whatever. Um, that's all you got to do, but uh, competition guys are cleaning this every single time it gets shot. If you, if you want it 100%, it should be clean. Duty guys... Probably got to clean them once a month. They need to be cleaned. That carbon flows back through here. Uh, what I like about our brush is it does have the pin in here. So for all the base pads that are a little harder to get off. So you can, this doesn't have our spray. See how short that spray is? It's ridiculous. Um, all the staccatos and prodigies are under sprung. So just buy our spray and they're like eight bucks. They'll, they'll solve that problem. So I'm going to take this spring off because it's no good. But I'm going to look in this tube. And this isn't the worst one. But, um, and you're not going to see a ton of it, but see all that carbon buildup? If you do this more often than not, you don't get the carbon starting to stick to itself. And it's a little better. I mean, this is a totally usable thing at this point. Now, the other trick I do is I keep these two in a one gallon Ziploc freezer bag. Freezer bag's a little tougher. And then I put once a year, only once a year, I put one shot of dry silicone spray lube in there. And that, that's an old trick from the old timers that works good. So on this mag, I'm going to put this. I'm just going to take the original follower. Now, the follower's all dirty, too. So where's the base pad? Like, that's all dunk. All that. A couple of grains of sand is enough to stop um, almost any mag in these things, with almost any spray combination. So we just have to keep these clean. So the ultimate trick is keep them clean and make sure you're cleaning them. Again, if you shot them three times, we want to clean them, and they haven't hit the ground, and if they hit the ground, we clean them every time. These are not Glock Max. They're not designed um, the stack-wise, and you can just see how dirty that one is just for me handling it. So um, keep your... Uh, I wipe the outside down, too, with a towel. I kind of keep a, a rag. Um, sometimes clean the bag with these guys and just keep the... The smoother that is, the better it drops, the better it inserts. So number one uh, tip is clean up. If you want um, cleaning uh, products, we've got them on the website. Um, you could probably find them locally as well. Hope to see you on the race soon.